Welcome back to WTOL 11 year day. We all need a little help now and then. That's why there are so many amazing organizations in the Toledo area always willing to help. But those folks need help as well. Maya May is in East Toledo at the Helping Hands of St. Louis with what you can do to help them help the community. Good morning, Maya. Good morning. Yes, um, the school year is right around the corner and a lot of parents right now are looking for shoes and clothes for their kids and I'm here at a spot where you can find those. I'm joined by Sue of Helping Hands who can tell us right now what are we seeing right behind us? This is our clothing center. It's open on Tuesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays from 9.30 to 11. 11.30 and it's open to anyone in need. So um, they're let, they can come every 30 days and shop again for their kids, for themselves. Um, uh, everything here is donated, so we give it back for free. And so we see clothes behind us, we see shoes. What other items do you have in this location? We have housewares, uh, bedding, Children's, uh, children's area, men's area, um, you know, just anything you would find in a normal store or a Goodwill shop. Everything is sorted by size, gender, so it's very easy to come in and find what you need and see if we have it. Um, and and shop. <laughs> and so in this location is a lot of used items, but the upcoming event is going to be all new, brand new shoes. Go right. ahead and tell us what that's going to look like. Our, our shoe fest is on August 6th. It's um, from 9 to noon. It is geared more towards East Toledo, but we're not going to turn any kids away that come. Uh, each child will get a pair of shoes, a uh, brand new pair of shoes, and we fit it to them. Uh, we do ask that the children be here with them when they come. So. Uh, so that we are able to fit those shoes to the child. We'll have a little street fair out in the, in the streets so the kids can play games, get face painted, things like that. So, um, and so you're also having a lot of people who are bringing those shoes to you guys. Who, who's helping you today? Uh, we have a lot of different churches that are doing shoe drives for us right now. Um, Mercy Health has generously donated um, some shoes. So um, we're looking to have a, a good supply to make sure every kid can find a pair of shoes that will fit them. And so you guys are also looking for volunteers, donations. What does that look like? Um, we are looking for donations of shoes, um, children's size 10 to adult size 10, uh, male and female. Uh, we're looking for um, donations of school supplies, backpacks, things like that. Uh, we're also looking for volunteers for the event. We need help with parking, with you know, setting things up, getting supplies here and where we need, here and there where we need them. And then we also need financial donations to fill in the holes where the things that we don't get that we still need. And how did this drive get started? This started back in. I'm not even sure. This is our ninth ninth year. So um, nine years ago, when this, the clothing center was set up. Um, one of the ladies that came here, her daughter, wanted to do a mission trip for her kids that she lived in uh, Illinois. So she came here to do the um, a mission trip and they did a shoe drive. So it's just kind of rolled since then and just gotten bigger and bigger. And uh, so we had to take a break for a couple years. Um, last year we were able to do it again and put it outside. Oh, but wow. um, happy to serve the kids that come here. And so during this event, there's going to be people actually cleaning feet of the kids. Yes, yes, they will wash the kids' feet, they'll put socks on them, fit the shoes to the child, that's why we ask the child to be here with them. And then the kids can walk away with the shoes on their feet or they can put them away and save them for the first day at school, whichever they prefer, um, go out and play games, um, get their faces painted, things like that. And how many pairs do you think you guys are going to give away? Um, we are looking to have about a thousand pairs of shoes, so um, hopefully we'll have enough kids to give them all away, and if not, we usually take them and give them to some of the area schools in the lower income areas so that they can give them to the kids there. And go ahead and tell us once again, where and when is this event going to happen? This is on Saturday, uh, August 6th from 9 to noon. Um, and it will be in the side parking lot next to the old school building. <laughs> All right, so. and how does it feel to you to actually be giving back to the community in this way? Um, I just know that when I was a kid, I never got a new pair of shoes when school started, so having a new pair of shoes to start the, the year off is always, you know, we figure they can start them on the right foot. So, uh, um, and it's something to be proud of when you go to school. So, uh, looking forward to seeing some smiles on the kids' faces and uh, 
so far. And so I read somewhere that it's also going to be some fun activities happening. Can you tell us what those fun activities are? We have face painting. We'll have uh, games for the kids. We have a story. We have a story corner. We're giving out. Um, coloring book or books for the kids to read. We have Bags of Love is coming. They'll be giving out little gift bags for the kids. Uh, we have, I can't even think of everybody that's coming. <laughs> but we have, you know, other vendors that are coming. The, the sheriff is coming and they they bring a bulletproof vest oh and a goodness. hat for the kids to try on. Um, they'll be talking to the parents about, you know, just trying to get um, people to maybe think of that as a job out, job career, so. That's amazing. This yeah. place is amazing. It's so many good things that you can find right here. Um, if you are interested in that event, you can go ahead and find out more on the WTOL website in Toledo, Maya May, WTOL 11. To you, Amanda. Very good. That's a lot of shoes and a really great organization here in our community. Again, Helping Hands is on 6th Street in East Toledo. Maya, thank you very much this morning. Well, coming up next from county fairs to Christmas in July, there's plenty to go for when I'm going on this week. WTOL 11 Your Day will be right back.